I'm Alan Sotomayor with Ohio State University Extension. Today we're talking about corn nematode sampling. Corn nematodes are a pest that's fairly new to discovery in Ohio. They may have been around for a while and we're just uh, now learning more about them and their activity and potential problems on corn. This is the time of year to be sampling. As you can see, the corn is a stage about V5 and uh, ideally about V3 to V6 is where you'd like to do the corn sampling. So usually the first part of June, maybe late in May, depending on planting date. But the reason we're doing it this time is because the, the nematodes are actively feeding on the corn roots. Uh, the corn roots are fairly close to the surface. So around 12 to 18 inches is where you're gonna find the corn roots at this stage. And if we wait later, the corn roots will be growing deeper into the soil and the nematodes will follow them deeper and then it'll be harder to achieve a good sample that way. So some tools you'll need. Uh, we like to get 12, maybe 18 inches deep into the soil to capture a good spectrum of soil nematodes. So this is a full 12 inch probe with a 12 inch throat to it. We like to take the sample right in the corn root zone. So we'll find a plant and I like to angle slightly so we can go into the profile even better. Pull out a full core of soil. So this will contain some of the root hairs in that. And I use a box lid. And we try to keep the coil, the soil cores intact. So for analysis at the laboratory, they do not want the core of soil smashed. So we want to keep it intact as much as possible. So that's why I can use a lid and a knife and then try to carefully scrape that out. And you can see we're maintaining pretty much the integrity of the cores. And you can transfer them. I use a one gallon Ziploc baggie and you can transfer the cores to the baggie and of course label your bags with your field identification and uh, sample number. So ideally as in any soil sampling you try to get a randomized representation of the field and what we're doing now is looking at five locations within one field and at this one location do 20 cores. So this would be like location one and I'd go randomly around this area right in the corn root zone and collect 20 12 inch deep cores and that represents one baggie, one sample site. And I do this five times throughout the entire field to represent a variety of the soil conditions and growth stages represented in the field. This then is kept carefully in a box. Uh, you may want to put some packaging with the box so that the sample does not get smashed in shipment and ship so they arrive within a few days of shipping. Uh, I tend not to send late in the week so they'll get there before a Friday and then can get processed quickly in the laboratory. Thank you.